Hello, ladies and gentlemen, kids of all ages. It is me, Eric Techstuffs, back again. Good, I need to do a little trimming of my nails. Ugh. Anyway, didn't do that for the YouTube video because I wasn't expecting to make this YouTube video. I have here an Onkyo receiver. Now, I normally don't do or haven't in the past done a lot of tech review channel stuff or anything in the past. But yeah, I used to do this um, AV stuff almost, uh, yeah, quite prim primer <laughs> primarily for the last 15 years or so. Did a lot of stuff, ran wire in a lot of houses. Uh, I'd say probably 22,000 miles or more in my career, and that's back in the time when that was uh, every speaker wire and everything else like that. So yeah, I didn't wire long. I ended up getting into programming and stuff. So yeah, I don't uh, I don't claim to run a ton of mileage, but yeah, I did my fair share. But yeah, most of my stuff was in programming of this beautiful equipment. But uh, yeah, like everything else, you kind of rent it out. You kind of use it. Then it becomes obsolete because the software stops getting updated. And of course, IP addresses change on those things after a while. So a lot of those music services will die very soon after um, their, uh, you know, the final update of the uh, software. Unfortunately, yes, that's a lot of this stuff. It's all software based. Yeah, you can use the AM, FM radio and switching and stuff. But I got this one here. And this Onkyo TXNR646. And I do have the wonderful uh, cut sheet for it. Uh, yeah, this is a 7.2 channel uh, network AV receiver. It has all the beautiful buzzwords on it as I do usually have these on a very thick sheet so you're seeing the back side of it but uh yeah i used to laminate all this stuff when selling it and uh yeah this is one of the uh first ones in uh 2015 uh two of the uh receivers that onkyo had out that year that uh represented the uh dtsx should have done my manicure but yeah, it has uh, home theater at a cutting edge. But of course, this is 2015. We have the full back there as well. Let's see. Let me go ahead. Ooh, ah, uh, ooh, ah. Uh. We got a IC chip right on there, so you know that's very important. The AKM chip. And everything else in here. So yeah, we have. Pictures of capacitors and transformers. That's great. I love it. Not knocking this receiver whatsoever because I got this at the MSRP was $699 back in 2015. And uh, yeah, I got this for just a fraction less. If it'll zoom in. That's uh yeah six dollars and 99 cents so that is uh 99 percent off on this unit here looks wonderful everything is good in it it's in great shape it is in good good shape no scuffs and craziness everything is there Beautiful logos. The Dolby, we got the DTS-X, which is 2015. Only two of these receivers. We got HMI, we got Wi-Fi, we got Bluetooth built in. And, yeah, I got to clean this up a little bit. I hope it all comes out properly. We have a cinema filter. Yeah, I just got this, so sorry. Cinema filter and uh, Sirius XM, so that's good. So... This is in great shape. Now, I'm wondering if this powers up for uh, that price. $6.99. Sorry, my camera didn't uh, zoom in properly. But I'm going to do two tests. Otherwise, this is going to be a wasted video. Is I'm going to go ahead. And now, if you can see this, this is a serviceman wrap. 
A lot of people don't do this. They just bunch it up usually and don't wrap it like this. This is what I have always known as a, uh, especially TV repairman. That's where I knew it from. But this is serviceman wrap that someone that's been with electronics has it. So when I, it was wrapped like this. But I know where I got it, so I'm thinking maybe it's in a lot better shape than, uh, you know, it went in for service, not worth the repair, which a lot of people end up getting these off to second-hand places and they may not get tested. So I'm going to go ahead and at least plug this in on camera, see how embarrassed I can get about this, and uh, see if we actually, God, do I have wrinkles that bad? Holy cow. Anyway, man, I need to get some lotion. and I wish I was 20 years younger. But, uh, yeah, we're going to unwrap this right now and just see what our service wrap is. And I'm going to make sure I never put myself under that condition with you all having to see my disgusting hands like that. Jeez. All right. So we got it plugged in. Now, it may or may not power up, if it doesn't, for $6.99, shame on me for not having it tested beforehand, but they say it's always tested. So let's go ahead and see if that's the case or not. We'll zoom in just a little bit. Beautiful pineapple plant's really taken off. If you ever get some pineapples, yeah. Don't throw the tops off. They're cool. Oh, there we go. Okay. The volume is at a minimum. Good. We have no load set into this. It turns up, turns down. Now, I don't have the remote for this, but my old trusty back in the day selling these, an MX450, which is self programmable, at least maybe it'll have the IR remote codes. Onkyo is pretty decent with that. And I already kind of did that as a setup. Yeah, if you can see that, it has, um, goodness, I mean, it's timeout on this real short. But, uh, yeah, I got like a, a Windows uh, computer and TiVo back in the day, antenna, DVR, and TV. But I did program in an Onkyo. And a cable box. But these are the generic ones. So let's see if this actually works. Uh, this remote control. That'll at least know that it's... Uh, well, it's not working this one, is it? Goodness. Well, that's terrible. Maybe I need to program this up a little bit more. I'll be back in just a second with probably how this is programmed up. But at least it powers up. But for $6.99 for an Ankea receiver, I still think that this is probably worth a little bit more than $100. Um, hmm. But yeah, let me go ahead and see if I can get the remote code for this. I mean, I think the limitation right now is this. And I'll be back to let you know if I fail or return with a uh, code that would work. Well, we did find the code for that uh, receiver. It was uh, on the MX450, which is self-programmable, so it's not going to really work for any other things. But Onkyo is a very well-known brand. But this one was 0781. So when we turn that on and we hit that, and now we're in the Onkyo mode and we hit our power on, magic we have power on and all of our functions so yeah for a regular remote control or if you have one of these or you know similar ones uh, with a function that can um, program in um, the uh, four digit version of these units here or I'm sorry the, the NR uh, version of these units with the network so you're going to actually need a little bit of a remote control like this however it doesn't have voice uh, control but uh, 
yeah, for 99% off. I'm going to go ahead and say this is great. Um, I'm able to uh, control this unit just as I need to remote control wise. So I got to go ahead and throw some speakers on this. My goodness, I'm throwing it up volume with no load on it. But uh, yeah, so for 99% off, yeah, it's a very good find to have here electronic wise. Of course, it won't keep its value for very long. Of course, I got it for $6. And uh, it does have all the uh, beautiful features in, like I showed, with the Spotify and such. That, uh, yeah, I mean, we have uh, a great amount of options available to us as far as streaming services. There's Bluetooth and Wi-Fi, of course, which we need. And then Pandora, Sirius, we have it. Slack or TuneIn, Deezer. I don't even know if that's still around anymore. Spotify, 2015, we need to see. But, yeah. Has 4K Ultra HD switching on this, and of course the back of this, which I will get to, because um, yeah, I, I had a snafu, had a snafu, but uh, part one of this uh, seven dollar Onkyo receiver that so far so good, at least powers up. So if we need troubleshoot, we'll be able to, but. Uh, Stick around, subscribe if you're not already, do this, stereo CVs, all kind of crap, anything that plugs in, kind of mess with it, as long as it drops down in voltage be, uh, below the mains, uh, I'm not an electrician, technically not a uh, technician, and mess around with all this stuff way too much, a whole bunch of stuff over here I gotta get to, uh, I got a video working on that as well. But uh, yeah, first time around, please go ahead and throw a, a subscribe down there. Go ahead and throw a thumbs up and a like. And I do appreciate it. Um, I've seen a lot of people have been uh, unsure how they got my channel on uh, on their uh, recommended, I guess. But uh, hey, I'm not a bad guy. I'm not, a, I'm not anything above any super technical means and love to describe anything to anybody love to talk back and forth in the comments down below if you're on the radio 1200 and uh yeah i'm more than happy to uh talk to each and every one of you so yeah go ahead and like and share and subscribe um just a fun little bunch of people down here we all uh get along i have never even thought i'd get more than uh maybe two three subscribers and it looks like i got over 200 uh, so far so I just want to say oh my gosh I appreciate each and every one of you that threw a like up and subscribe down below if you're not go ahead and do that it's not the worst thing you can do hey you don't have to watch every video I'm not the the most uh, talented person I'm just a, a general guy with a technical knowledge that decided to apply himself even more and get a whole bunch of tools and stuff and just, uh, you know, learn in the practice. It's not something you're going to master. You're not going to be the guru of radio. I don't expect to. So I throw some other tech videos up every once in a while. But yeah, this one's a stereo video. But for 99% off, I mean, it's worth putting on the uh, putting on the channel. So do a lot of CB radio stuff. I'm a ham radio operator as well. I also do AV stuff. I did that uh, way back. That's how I started it. Actually, my career, uh, it's all cable TV, and then I ended up getting into wiring up houses and programming and doing all this stuff for over 20 years. And then that, of course, worked into IT, so I do that too as well. Um, but, uh, yeah, I just want to go ahead and throw something up here real quick that you can find some cool uh, stuff in a bargain bin sometimes. Not all the time. I've been back and I haven't found anything since, but uh, I got around to putting this video up real quick. So uh, I do appreciate every one of you and all 200 and some that you subscribed up to me. Uh, I'll do my best to um, keep you all entertained and anything you want to see, please throw in the comments. I always love talking to each and every one of you and any ideas I'm sure open to that as well. Um, but uh, 73s for now. I'm going to go ahead and flip this around. And of course that will be in the next video. So part 2 coming up next. Thank you again.